cooked meat and a variety of vegetables and Moroccan special spices and homemade bread. The next example, I have a tagine with minced meat and eggs. The next example, I have a tagine with fish, lemon, tomatoes and green olives for lunch. I have Moroccan couscous every Friday because all Moroccan people or the majority of Moroccan people, they have couscous every Friday. The next example, I have a pizza for lunch. And the last example, I have grills or bar barbecue. Let's go to the next slide. What do you have for dinner? What do you have for dinner? I have a light dinner, a fruit, and yogurt. So yogurt is spelled in two ways. You can spell it, uh, write it like this, or you can write it with H. Y O G H U R T. So both of them correct. I have a glass of milk and bread with chocolate. So we there is an O missing. Chocolate. So C H O. C O L A T E. So there is an O missing. I have vegetables soup. I have Moroccan harira. So Moroccan harira, it's Moroccan soup. I sometimes have tagine. I have fish. I have tea, eggs with tomatoes, and bread. Let's go to the next example. In this example, we changed the WH word. In the previous sentences, we have what? Now we have where. Where do you have English classes? I have English classes online or on YouTube. I have English classes in a language school. I have English classes at college. I have English classes at university. I have English classes at home with a private teacher. I have English classes in adult center. I have English classes in England or in any country you like to say. So you see that where is the first word and we have places where I have English classes. So to have English classes, it means to study English. Let's go to the next slide. Now we change the WH word. Now we have when. When do you have holidays? Try to repeat the question with me. When do you have holidays? Let's see possible answers. I have holidays in summer every year. Repeat after me. I have holidays in autumn every year. I have holidays in fall every year. I have holidays in winter every year. I have holidays in spring every year. Do you know why I made sentences with the seasons of the year? Because uh, not all people have holidays in one season. So everyone... Uh, chooses the season he likes and he has a holiday in that season so people are different the next example i have holidays in january every year other people they may say i have holidays in may every year i have holidays in july every year i have holidays in august every year so we have the seasons and the months of the year Let's continue. Now we change the WH word. It's why. Why do you have a lot of books? Let's see some possible answers. I have a lot of books because I like reading. I have a lot of books because I love reading. I have a lot of books because I adore reading. I have a lot of books because I am keen on reading. 
I'm keen on it means I love. I have a lot of books because I can't live without reading. Some people, they can't live without reading. So reading for them is like breathing. I have a lot of books because I like to expand the scope of my knowledge because I want to know a lot of things. That's why I read and that's why I have a lot of books. Let's go to the next slide. We change the WH word to who. Repeat after me. Who do you have business with? It means who do you work with? I have business with my father or I have business with my brothers or with my brother. I have business with my mother. I have business with my sister or my sisters. Because some people, they have a business, a family business, and they work together. That's why they say I have business with my mother or my sisters. I have business with my manager. Some people, they work with their managers. I have business with a partner, with the person who works with me from England. Partner is the person who works with you in a business. I have business with a partner from France. I have business with a partner from China. Let's continue. Now we changed, okay, to how many books do you have at home? Notice uh, with how many books. So we don't have how plus auxiliary. This is an exception. We have how many is one word, like one word. And so always when we have how many, we need a noun in the plural form, for example, books. So how many books, then we continue, do you have at home? How many books do you have at home? I don't have books at home. I don't have any books at home. I have just one book at home. I have five books at home. I have more than 20 books at home. I have more than 50 books at home. The last example, I have a library of books at home. Let's go to the next example. So we ask with how much, how much, we don't say how do, no, how much money do you have in your pocket? How much money do you have in your pocket? Repeat after me. How much money do you have in your pocket? Please don't ask. I am penniless. I am penniless means I don't have any money. Penniless, without money. I am broke. I am penniless and I am broke. They mean the same. It means you don't have any money. So the next example, I don't have money in my pocket right now. Now I don't have money in my pocket. I don't have any money. I am speaking now. I don't have any money in my pockets now. Another person may say, may say I have just 10 cents or I have 50 cents or I have one euro or I have a euro. I have five euros. I have 10 euros. I have one dollar or I have a dollar or I have one buck or I have a buck. Buck means dollar. I have five dollars. I have ten dollars.